Well, developing tonight, more than two dozen people are without a home after a massive fire ravages a Metro Atlanta apartment. Stunning images of the flames caught on camera. It left two people hurt and a pregnant woman in labor. This all happening in DeKalb County at the Dunwoody Village Apartments, not far from I-285. Our Zach Summers live there tonight with the latest on the investigation. Zach, what have you learned? Yeah, you know, a scary situation for the folks here at Dunwoody Village uh, Apartments. As you can see, gas and fire still out here uh, more than six hours after this explosion. As you say, at least two dozen people without a home tonight. An explosion so intense residents in and near Dunwoody Village Apartments could feel it. I was like, what is going on? I went downstairs and my dad was like, yes, I felt that too. Jabay Jones lives two minutes away and ran to see what was happening. So I went up there and I saw like people crying because they lost their homes. I saw like stretchers getting like taken out. The Gab County Captain Dion Bentley says they were called out to the sprawling complex this afternoon to assist Atlanta Gaslight following a report of a gas leak. We were out there on scene with them with charged hose lines ready and um, we were able to uh, go into action quickly. While making the repair to the leak, a fire somehow ignited, causing the explosion around 430. The flames and the, the fire, once it caught the gas lines and it just was a, a, a lot of heat, a lot of fire. One building was destroyed, another damaged, leaving at least 25 people without a place to stay. Captain Bentley says Three people were taken to the hospital, two burn victims, and a pregnant woman who went into labor. No hole in the wall. Chris Jones lives one building over from where it happened. We already in the pandemic. Now we got to deal with this days before Christmas. I'm upset. He's upset, but he and so many others are just thankful everyone made it out alive. Now, Atlanta Gaslight tells us a third-party contractor, it was a third-party contractor that ruptured one of their lines and that the two burn victims work for them. Uh, part of the power, electricity did return about a half hour ago. The gas is still out. We're told full utilities should be restored no later than tomorrow. Live in DeKalb County, Zach Summer, CBS 46 News.